A group of soldiers were watching a pornographic field, but he realized something was wrong because the woman in the video is his wife. That's my wife. That's Clancy. That's, that's, that's my fucking neighbor. I, I lent him my fucking car. That's my wife. My husband left to fight for his country, but his wife at home betrayed him. He swore and shouted that he wanted to get out of here. He went home to settle the score with them. When he left, Jack continues to organize another screening of the film. After all, it wasn't their wives, but what he didn't expect, the same thing was about to happen to him. That day, he received a letter from his girlfriend. It was a breakup letter. Jack didn't want to accept it, so he called his girlfriend and asked her what was going on. She told Jack, under her breath, she's in training right now. That the breakup was a fact. She told Jack to forget the whole thing. Then she hung up. Cat, who already didn't like being a soldier, was even more disgusted. Cat, to ease the pressure of the mood, bought himself a case of Bouncy. Jack organized a private party. However, a good time was had by all. The sentry's new recruit fell asleep. It then accidentally set fire to the nearby ammunition depot. Everyone heard the explosion. Everyone thought it was an enemy raid. They were so frightened that they fell to the ground. When they realized what was happening, they rushed out with their weapons weapons to check. It turned out to be just the flares. The party they were having was revealed, as it was a party organized by Jack. His commanding officers punished him by sending him to clean the toilets. Jack was disgusted by the whole thing. His pent-up anger needed to be vented, so he couldn't wait to get to the front and fight the enemy. But before long, the opportunity he'd been dreaming of presented itself. The soldier suddenly loaded his gun and pointed them at the new recruit and continued to make provocative remarks. By this time, the new recruit was too frightened to speak. The veteran soldier, continuing to seek excitement, handed his gun to the new recruit. He handed the new recruit his gun and put the gun to his head. And you fucking see how hard it is, you two oh, men! Oh, 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 you oh, fucking oh, faggot! Oh, you friendly oh, fucking oh, fire! Oh, Tell me you fucking pussy! You know! Fuck! In the end, the rookie couldn't do it. The veteran, Ted, was angry at being dumped by his girlfriend. To relax, he threw a party, but his superiors found out. Jack was demoted. He was assigned to clean toilets for a month. As a result, he's built up a lot of anger. What he'd just done was just a way of letting off steam. At the time, he couldn't wait to get out there and kill the enemy. He even wanted to die. Shortly afterwards, the opportunity he'd been dreaming of presented itself. The instructor gave the soldiers a final pep talk. Saddam Hussein's got one million Iraqi soldiers. Some of those boys have been fighting since you were nine or ten years old. They are tough. They will stop at nothing. They've used nerve gas against the Iranians and the Kurds. And you'll hydrate some more. And you will be ready. You will maintain a constant state of suspicious alertness. And one day soon, Saddam Hussein is going to regret pulling this sorry shit. The mission was to take control of an enemy oil field. The U.S. Army uses an advanced global positioning system. As a result, the Army's only task was to dig trenches. It was also responsible for collecting prisoners and supplies. However, the soldiers were resting in their trenches. Their positions were suddenly hit by long-range fire. Everyone took refuge in the trenches amid the explosions. He was stunned by the explosions. When the bombardment ended, Jack looked down. He realized he peed his pants. Then they started marching. They were going to teach the enemy a lesson. They reached the enemy's position safely. They were greeted by a devastating scene. Advanced weaponry had already reduced the place to rubble. They didn't even find a single body. Not far away, thick smoke suddenly rose. It was the oil field. The enemy hadn't set on fire during the evacuation. They'd rather destroy it than leave it to anyone. The fire symbolizes the enemy's defeat. Shortly afterwards, the sky began to rain black oil. The golden desert turned black. Suddenly, Jack sees a horse covered in oil. When the horse left, he was left alone for a long time. The next day, American troops, in this sheltered environment, they continued to advance toward their next position. But suddenly, an order came from above. They needed their best sniper. The captain first recommended Jack and his partner. The mission was to kill a high-ranking enemy officers. Before the war started, he went to the battlefield with great anticipation. But will it be as easy as he thinks? The sniper adjusts the focus of his scope. The observer reports back to the point of arrival. An enemy officer suddenly appears in the viewfinder, just as Jack is about to pull the trigger. What the fuck frequency are you on? Oh, fuck. We got air. I'm calling it in. You have permission to take the shot. Tough break. You were just gonna shoot one guy. One. This is a huge disappointment for Jack, who had been so enthusiastic. They've been stationed here for six months, and they haven't fired a shot, and they won the war. The bombers have flown over the city, and all that's left is a sea of fire. American forces are using modern weapons against Iraq. It is dark. Jack and his comrades were evacuating the compound, but suddenly, they hear cries of chaos in the neighborhood. Republican cars, man, over this burn. You ready? You ready? Fucking get this! Go, 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 go!
Just as they thought they'd finally have a fight on their hands, they saw what was behind the dunes, a frown sea in place. It was in fact a bonfire organized by their comrades. The war was over for them, the group of soldiers who arrived. They had killed a single enemy. Many soldiers had suffered the same fate as Jack. They arrived enthusiastically and left empty-handed. All they could do was point their guns in the air and then pull the trigger. In this war, the American army showed the world its advanced military technology. It not only defeated Iraq and awakened the world, it reminded the world that the era of naval warfare was over. Modern warfare has begun. The soldiers' lives are now guaranteed. Jack and his comrades have returned home. The American people welcomed them with open arms, but they lived through the war. But after the war, they failed to integrate into normal life. At first, Jack chose to work as a security guard, but he soon realized that the world had abandoned him. For some of his comrades had nothing to show for it. Some worked as supermarket porters. Some couldn't stand this humdrum life, so they chose to fight for their lives. There was even one comrade who couldn't stand the torture of reality. He died prematurely. He ended his life as a scribbler. But no matter what, he couldn't join society 